the residential water heater was invented back in 1889, and the basic concept still holds water today. It heats water, then it keeps it continuously hot so that you always have a supply on tap. Life without it would mean a lot of cold showers. Water heaters may look uninspiring, but inside, they're hot stuff. To make one, a hydraulic press transforms a round steel blank into a dome shape. This shape will form the base of a gas-heated tank and it will hold the burner. Next, rollers behind and above curl a sheet of steel around a cylinder. This forms the inner tank shape. A seam welder device then pinches the two ends of the tank shape together and welds them. In the next step, the tank body is positioned under a projection welder. A threaded fitting is placed on the tank. This projection welder uses 10,000 volts of electricity to fuse fittings to the tank body. It also welds fittings to the top of the tank. Valves and other parts will be screwed into these fittings later. Next, a press applies over 27 tons of force to fit the top in place. Then, liquid enamel is sprayed inside the spinning tank. This will prevent rust. It will be baked at 900 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. Now it's back to the bottom of the tank. A flue tube is inserted in a hole at the center and an automated welder joins it to the base. The flue will vent gases from the burner. After anti-rust enamel coating is baked onto the base and flue, the tank body is lowered onto it. Next, robotic welding arms work both ends of the tank. One welds the base to it. The other bonds the flue to the top. Air is pumped into the tank and then water is poured over the outside. If bubbles appear, it means air is escaping and there's a leak that needs to be fixed. Here, elements are being installed in an electric water heater. And a thermostat is hooked up. Now it's time to make the tank's outer shell, or jacket. An operator slides a painted steel shape onto a mandrel so that it becomes a cylinder. A lock former then moves along a rail, folding and pressing the seam together. Next, a roll former crimps the top and bottom edges so that lids can easily be installed. Here, a plastic apron is draped over a tank. Its jacket is slid on, leaving just the electrical components exposed. A steel cover is screwed over them. Here's a demonstration of what comes next. A chemical reaction causes polyurethane foam to expand in seconds. This expanding foam is injected into the plastic apron that's now between the tank and the outer shell. The foam will insulate the tank. The installation of the wiring is completed. On gas heaters, a burner is slid into the dome-shaped base and the burner tubes are connected to the gas valve. The burner ignition wiring is connected and then hooked up to the gas line for a test run. That inner glow is the burner at work. A worker checks for any gas leaks. It gets the seal of approval. And once it's installed, it's up to you to test the waters.
up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fake news. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up.